what is going on guys? Custom RC Mods here. Today we're going to be flying the FT Simple Scout with some really high rates. Um, it's somewhat irresponsible for this trainer plane, but this plane is so smooth and so much fun. It's not too fast, so I thought if I threw about a 30 foot streamer on the back of it, we could see if we could cut it um, in our own loop or something like that, and we'll either way have a lot of fun. Uh, so again, we're back out here at the park, which is deserted after today's hectic amount of soccer games, so I was finally able to get out to fly on this beautiful weekend. We've gotten a lot of good weather recently, um, but this is by far the best. It's been pretty windy, so now there's no wind at all, and hopefully we'll have the optimal flight conditions for this plane. So I'm going to see if we can take off on the grass, but I'm not sure because, uh, you know, as these planes go, these uh, tail draggers can get kind of caught up in the grass pretty easily. Alright, we're up, and this thing does not have a bunch of power, um, but it still has an adequate amount, and it does uh, still really just so smooth. And we've got a lot, needs a lot of aileron uh, fixes. Almost need to sub trim the ailerons. Yeah, it just keeps on wanting to dive like that. Oh my, that is quite the barrel roll. Let's go ahead and see if you can witness that again. It's quite the a uh, plane to be flying. Yeah, really, really smooth, especially if you guys saw the Bloody Baron video, you guys know how loud that thing was. This thing is like so quiet compared to that. And I don't even know what's up with the ailerons. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can fix that right now. Let's bring it in for a landing. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get that aileron thing fixed. All right, so I think I got it all fixed up. Just used a bunch of trim, sub-trimmed one of them a little bit. Since they are dual ailerons, uh, you guys have to go into a little bit more depth. So that's what I did, and we're ready to fly again. So let's go ahead and see how she performs now. Very nice. Yep, so I'm not really even playing too much with the controls. Uh, it's flying pretty good, I would say, um, but it has flown better, I think. I don't know what's up. Maybe it's my elevator trim. Very nice and smooth, and it's actually um, not as aerobatic as I remember it because I was flying in like 40 mile per hour winds the other day, and it's pretty insane. But this thing is just on rails, just like the Bloody Baron was, except for about half as fast. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a touch and go. I'm being pretty greedy here. You beautiful and I didn't really quite line that up the way I wanted it to but either way let's go ahead do another touch and go you can just run this thing all over the ground I did some more landing gear reinforcements uh, to this plane so I think that it's gonna be a little bit better and less prone to tipping over like it was originally Wow, that is really, really nice touch and goes right there. So yeah, I did have a minor crash with this thing last time I was flying it, like I said, in 40 miles per hour wind. Um, and I was actually doing inverted flat spins somehow. Um, I just got going crazy and I realized uh, when it was too late that I didn't have enough time to pull out because usually on like a 3D airplane, you have enough time just to jerk the controls and get out of your flat spin. But I was just doing these inverted flat spins and I didn't have enough elevator uh, or rudder throw. <laughs> to get out of it and I was too low to the ground so I ended up just knocking the wing out of place so I went ahead, re-glued it and we're good to go. And this thing is just on rails. Like I keep, know I keep saying that but I'm really surprised with how good this thing is flying. Let's try inverted. Very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's very touchy on the ailerons and inverted. And I'm trying to fly it just like so. Nice. Yeah, I'm not much of an inverted pilot. I just have always uh, known that I need to fly right side up because inverted, when I get too close to the ground, I tend to freak out, and that's just not no fun for anybody when you're playing smash it on the ground. All right, so I'm gonna see how tight I can get going on a uh, little loop-de-loop -loop here and see if I can cut the end of the streamer. So let's go ahead and gain some altitude for this so I have enough time to recover if I don't make it. Ooh, that was not quite what I was looking for. Need a little bit more power. Alright, let's try that again. Gotta 
Oh, the stream is just not long enough to cut. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. I thought I was going to be able to get it to go my way. Maybe if we pull it up to the highest part and just stall it and then jam on the throttle. Let's try that. So I'm going to go up to pretty high. Now I have no more vertical. Oh, right there, right there. I was so close. If you guys saw that, I was just so close to cutting my own streamer and then it just didn't quite work out. So we're going to go up really high. And that did not work at all. So it looks like this stream is just a tad bit too short. Maybe if it was 40 or 50 feet, I'd be able to cut the end off of it. So maybe next time we'll go for like a 100 foot streamer. This one is just part of a streamer that I had um, originally that I cut in half for the Bloody Baron. But either way, uh, this plane still is flying fantastic and I really can't get over how smooth this thing is and how quiet it is compared to my other planes. That is because, I believe, because we're running a, a slow fly prop on this thing, 9x47, and all my push rods are not vibrating or anything like that, which is, I believe, what the Bloody Baron's issue was. Another touch and go. Beautiful. Another touch and go. Way over there, no problem. Would hate to run into these soccer goals, but you know how it goes. Actually, last week they didn't have any nets on them, so I was able to fly through them, but I didn't because I was, uh, didn't have enough time to fly a plane in that wind. Um, because, of course, this thing can't handle anything really higher than, I guess, 20 miles per hour, but I was flying at 40. Um, so I was flying the Mini Arrow on 4S and going like 80 miles per hour is insane. Um, and I didn't really want to risk that as well. So maybe sometime when they take the nets off these plane, these uh, soccer goals, I'll be able to try to fly through them. But for now, they obviously have the nets on them. So there's that. And that pretty much wraps up the video. That was an entire battery with this streamer. A ton of fun uh, and a very, very smooth flying airplane. I highly recommend the FT Scout if you guys are interested. Either you're a beginner and you want to get in the hobby, this is a great plane. This is the one I started with as well as if you are an expert and you just want a nice plane to fly on a calm day like today. And as I said, the wind picks up. But either way, it was a great plane and I really, really thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for your interest in my uh, designs as well as this flight test plane. So yeah, see you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.